Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and of course we'll uh, answer a few more questions about the November 2019 update. So version 1909 is pretty much finished. It will be released apparently on November 12th. So what uh, are the questions left that I, um, you know, I, I tried to go through really the ones that I haven't answered, haven't talked about yet. One that I did talk about, but we'll kind of try to clear it a little more. And um, so, first of all, a lot of you have been asking me, okay, I decided to go to the release preview and I got 18.363.448. Some of you have 418, by the way. And you're wondering, is that the uh, is that a build? Well, officially, this is pretty much what we'll have in November. There might be a cumulative update added to it. But uh, 18.363.448 is what I have. This is what we are at now on the November 2019 update. And that's where you should be. If you've got a big number, dot 10,000 something, like 10,022, 24, you are still at more or less. Well, you're first of all at build 18.362, which is one number less than their official build. Uh, on release preview, you get to 18.363. The other thing uh, people are asking a lot is uh, Edge Chromium coming to the November update. Edge Chromium is not part of the November update. Uh, Edge Chromium is still being tested. So no, it's not part of the November 2019 update. But they are kind of pushing Edge as far away from your eyes as possible. It's still installed. It's still there. But they uh, are preparing that entry of Edge Chromium on the uh, on the Windows operating system for sure. A lot of you have been asking, will it be on 20H1 or the next version of Windows? We're not really sure when this is going to be totally integrated. There's a good chance that by the uh, beginning of next year it will be. The uh, other questions a lot of people are asking is um, about uh, the, um, you know, the way that it's actually arriving to our PCs, which is a cumulative update. Once again, it's not a big update that, you know, it actually isn't something that uh, reinstalls completely on your machine and that uh, you're totally, um, you know, going to be missing um, anything because it's not one of those big updates. It's really a cumulative update. So think about it as uh, just bug fixes mostly to the May 2019 update. A lot of people, and some of you have been asking me to talk about this a little bit, a lot of people that have moved on to 1909 say that they see a performance improvement. And it might have something to do with a specific thing about the uh, November 2019 update that we haven't talked about much. But there is, in the November 2019 update, a different way of throttling the CPU the processor in your computer, and that might actually improve not only the speed, but it might actually improve the battery life also. So this is kind of interesting to see, and will be. Um, I'll I'll try to do a few more tests because I think it's uh, something that might I'll, you know probably might help some of you move on to this new version. So uh, it is, um, it's, it's slightly faster for some of you, but it mostly is for very recent processors. And that's very important to understand. As for the, um, the review, a lot of you have been asking me, are you going to do a review of it? Well, I kind of reviewed all the features. Plus, my answers, questions and answers kind of, you know, um, pretty much go through all of what this is. So i not necessarily going to have a review of it. I kind of did talk about it quite a lot. So, uh, and from now on, we're actually making videos from this version. Um, one last thing, questions that are being asked, um, you know, when you're going to do videos, if I stay to the May 2019 update, are there going to be a lot of differences? Uh, no, because there just isn't really a lot of differences between May 2019 and November 2019. So. Every video that I'll be posting about November, except for some of the new features that have popped up, will be the same on the May 2019 update. So 
there's really not enough differences to really make anything uh, in there that will um, you know kind of be different. Uh, the settings menu is pretty much the same. Uh, there's really, really not a lot of differences. Just a few new features in here. So this is one of the last uh, questions and answers, on, unless there's really something um, that I haven't touched on or haven't talked about. There's probably not going to be any other questions and answers for the November 2019 update. Um, I think we pretty much went through all of what is to know here. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.